Okay, we're gonna approach the open guard, but before we get to any techniques, we're just gonna talk about the open guard and kind of what to expect and, and what my opponent's trying to do. Okay, so initially he's gonna be on his back and what's gonna happen here is, is usually they're gonna have two knees open. That's how you know it's like a very uh, open guard style player. Okay, if he wanted to do, and we'll touch on, on this a little later, if he wanted to do any other guard, you'll find out quick. Usually if it's a, a knee shield, he would reach with his legs, pinch, and he'd pull me in right to the right to his knee shield, and which we're gonna deal with later on in this instructional. So right now, we're talking about the knees open and his elbows inside the spaces, okay? And what angles do I need to actually approach this, okay? When we're pushing open guard, staying square is actually the thing I don't want to do. I don't want to be square inside of him where he can see me at all times. I actually want to make sure I cut an angle off to the side, okay, whether it be towards my left or towards my right, okay? I always want to beat his hip and have one hip pinned while I'm approaching the other side. So if I start to go in this direction, I kind of want his hip pinned. Knowing this, I know that every time I switch a side, he's going to want to turn to that other hip and have it face me with his frames, okay? So we're approaching some stuff that what is the, the easiest way to pass the open guard? Double unders is always an option, okay? Uh, knee cutting and passing from the outside, right? So during the portion of this open guard, we're going to talk about knee cutting through and what angles are needed for that type of pass to work, okay? And dealing with the frames and the tensions that are needed as well. So when uh, I look at this space, you I wanna look at the quadrants, right? I want this space of his hip, this space of his hip, this space of his shoulder, and this space of his shoulder. I really don't wanna stay in the middle for too long. I wanna have this more as a transition period. So anytime I'm in the middle, it's because I'm here or I'm here where I'm gonna force a headquarters or I'm gonna start shifting into a knee cut, but I'm not gonna stay square enough for him to actually start attacking and start using his movements to put me on the defensive. So when we're talking about the open guard, understand that the one we're talking about is a very, uh, him on his back. It's a guard in which he's being a little bit more passive in the sense that he's relying on me to come forward instead of him being in a seated guard. And because of that, we'll have an advantage of where we go because the guard initiation is gonna be dictated on whether I come forward or I don't, right? So for the most part, I'm gonna be able to control running into him and being able to dictate where I go in this guard.